Hello boys and girls, kidders of all ages, welcome back to Skyrim with me, Jester. When we left off last time, we pretty much owned here, I think it was, was it the Skinner, get Krev the Skinner? <laughs> Butt crack the Hydra or whatever other titles I ended up putting in uh, <laughs> the uh, description box of the video on Friday. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Right, so, um... So yeah, we killed Krev the Skinner. However, for some reason, was that not what that was? Because I was doing it with Ayala. Have I, have I, have I, I might have forgotten what I actually did at the end of last week. Considering the fact that I play at the beginning of the week. And then just everything else happens afterwards. Um, so I thought, was Krev the Skinner not the lieutenant in question? Is there a different... Uh... Lieutenant that we're going for now. Well, obviously there is, because that's exactly where I'm heading. But I, I didn't realise that was the case, <laughs> basically. Um, but I guess we'll find out. No, anyway, um, so yeah, so we're going to go kill this silver hand dude. But there is something that I discovered. There's a website, a friend of a friend frequents, and then I, by proxy through the friend, get links to the... It's funnyjunk.com. Pictures are shared. And... One of them was of some something to do with, you know, secrets in Skyrim. And one of them was apparently, there's Blackreach, the underground place with all the Falmer in, underneath one of the big dwarven settlements. I'm nowhere near it yet, but I'm mentioning this now, hoping that you guys will keep reminding me, or will remind me when we get to it, to, to remember this. That wasn't redundant at all. Uh... Apparently, if you use Fusrodar, the unrelenting force push shout thing, whatever, on the fake sun that's in Blackreach, it summons a black dragon. I didn't know this. I've never known this. So when we do get there, I want to do that. So if I, if we keep reminding me of it, because we'll plug towards that, that will be like main aim, shall we say. Uh, still supporting my dwarven armor and forgot about that actually. Um, that'll be like main aim. Uh, obviously we'll be doing other things along the way as I'm doing right now. But yeah, that will be a, a, uh, an, a something to aim for long run speaking. As soon as we're able to, basically. I can't remember which dwarven settlement Black Reach is at however. Which may be a problem to the, for the plan. But I'm sure we can figure it out when we get there. But in the meantime, we'll finish this silver hand one. I'm trying to keep my quest, my unfinished quest counts down. Because when I played this game the first time around, um, it was almost as if the game couldn't keep up with itself after a point. Like the save file got too big and then just bugs were popping up left, right and centre. Which my friends weren't experiencing in relation to just unique missions. It was literally a case of... It had to have been because just things were getting too big for the save file or something similar. So I'm trying to keep at least my quest log small, hoping that that in some way or another <laughs> helps keep the save file down. Although I'm probably thinking about it in a very backwards fashion, to be honest. That's a dog. I don't want to hurt the dog. I'm going to have to hurt the dog, though. Damn it. And why am I still using dwarven arrows? I don't want to be using dwarven arrows. It's a waste. At this point against these guys. Killed the person, but here comes the dog. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Right in the face. Ah, oh, I don't feel good about that. <laughs> nope. Poor dog. Poor pooch. Will you give my my arrow back at least? No, I'm not taking the dog meat. Are you kidding me? That's just morbid. <laughs> Big wheel. Okay, so there's a silver hand leader somewhere in here. Obviously, that's the freaking mission. Why am I acting like I'm surprised? Or like it's news, revelation, revelation rather. Alright. Wow. You took it right in the... I was going to say tit, but you actually got hit in the arm. Never mind. <laughs> Less exciting. <laughs> okay. A lot of mushrooms around. That's scaly... Almond the moon, 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 the moon,
I don't know. <laughs> Not good, okay. It's a lot. No. Oh. Secret magic. Wood to gold? I don't think that's a thing. Where are they? They're here somewhere. Uh, no. Oh wow, that was quick. And nobody's any the wiser, apparently. That's fantastic. I'll take it. <laughs> you, Silver Hand Lieutenant, hopefully I can actually get you through this thing without the arrow sailing way over your head like it did with the last guy that I tried to do this with. Actually, it was a woman. But whatever. You coming? Yeah, you coming. You could come a lot quicker. There we go. You've got a glass weapon. Is that glass? Oh no, it's enchanted steel, is it? That could be useful. Hello. Oh wow, you did not last. <laughs> At all. I Oh, iron. It was iron. Okay. Eh. I think I've already got that enchantment anyway. Is that everybody? Really? There's only the three of you in here? Hang on, have I counted that right? Well, four if you include the dog. I'm sorry, dog. That was so... Not cool. <laughs> I was just expecting more resistance. So Krev really was the most difficult part of all that, and we had him first. Yes, I did notice the bear trap right in front of the chest. Don't worry, I'm not going to walk into it. So I aim not to anyway. <laughs> Gold, thank you. Oh, that's good. Treasure map. Yeah, why not? Carrying capacity increased by 35 points. Hmm. That is better for Lydia. Lydia will carry that. I'm going to disenchant the iron boots that I picked up. Still here. You? We need to trade. I am sworn to carry your Stop burdens. being such a fucking pansy about it every time. Yeah, you see, you can't see a pretty face, but... Eh. <laughs> Take that so I can just drop it. Still won't let me take that. I don't get it. It won't let me take the shield either because it's a base equipment. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm sorry, that may have been a bit, bit, bit harsh. <laughs> Alright, what did I just pick up from you that I want to drop again? What was it? The steel helmet? Steel helmet. Drop the steel helmet. Okay. Keeping that. Keeping those. Um. What am I to keeping, keeping, keeping. I really need to find myself a home to put some of this stuff that I'm keeping but don't use. Don't want to carry. There we go. That's the one I meant. <laughs> I really need to find it somewhere. But for the time being, our work here is done. That was actually really quick and easy. Kind of disappointing, actually. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still sneaking. There's nobody to sneak past anymore. Alright. Running, 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 raw hide. Completely unrelated things entirely. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, back to Scarab. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's that's that one done. Sorry about that. Um, and we'll go and for oh, tea is the best thing ever. It's just the way it's warm as it goes down, you know. It's lovely. Um, <laughs> that one taken care of. We will now go and... Why am I taking so long to decide? Return to Ayala. And we'll see what the rest of the companions have to say and stuff. So, Because they'll have something to say. Hello, brother. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, this week just gone, I did a lot of reading on some Skyrim lore. Not just that picture that I've already mentioned, but... <coughs> excuse me. Um, but uh, also... Uh, I decided to look into Argonian's history because I was talking to a friend who's currently playing Oblivion on his channel, link somewhere, um, and it got me wondering about, like I play these kinds of games, I don't really bother learning too much about the pre-amble, you know, all the stuff that comes before, I just play it because it's fun to play, 
Um, but uh, I was talking to him, and I was, I, I, some, the, the topic we were on made me wonder some things about the history of certain people, particularly Argonians, because I always play an Argonian without fail. Um, so I kind of became a little bit interested in Argonians and what their history is. Now, I had always assumed the Hist was some sort of lizard god. Apparently, the Hist are a species of tree, and it's the sap that gives you the healing power when you're a young Argonian. You, like, eat the sap, and it apparently determines what you look like when you grow up as well, which is kind of a little bit Fallout 3-esque. You know, that beginning scene where your dad asks you what you're going to be like, and you get to choose. But it's beside the point. So I did a bit of reading on the Argonians, and uh, they've got a really interesting history. They are... They have, like, guerrilla warfare shit going on. I didn't realise. And apparently their species is, is tailored towards all the things I do. Lockpicking, thievery, you're wearing too much eyeliner, um, and straight up battle. And I, I didn't pick an Argonian knowing that was the case, because that's the way I play these games. I just picked an Argonian and somehow, luckily, that's how it turned out. I was kind of surprised. Pleased, even. I keep forgetting you guys just have coin purses lying around, and I want them. Can I get them all without being spotted, I wonder? So far, so good. You just have them lying around, I don't understand. I don't care whose they are, they're mine now. Huh! 